City Series cigars and Citrus 7s, Black Cement 3s, 4s, the hairs and bread 11s. No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting. With these Doran Becker 5s, you can see me in any lighting. It's exciting. I'll be flexing to the coldest degree. What's up, everybody? It's Sneakerhead M Checks. Today, I will be reviewing these vast gray 11s. I know a lot of people have been calling them other names like the Michael Jackson 11s or the Glitter 11s, but some of the more credible sources have been uh, listing them as vast gray 11s, so that's what I'm going to call them. This is one of those low-key releases that not that many people are talking about. If you ask me, that's a good thing because if it's something I want, then that means I don't have to compete with as many people to try to get a pair for myself. Now, these look good in the pictures, but not nearly as good as they look in person. The glitter did not look like it was going to be this prominent. In pictures, it looked a lot more dull, kind of like the glitter that they have on the Baron 11 logos. But as you can see, it's actually not like that at all. After seeing these in person and seeing how well this glitter looks when it hits the light, I like these twice as much as I did before. My only concern with this glitter was that it was going to come off and get everywhere. You know like when you're younger and they have you doing art projects in school and it involves glitter and the glitter gets all over the classroom, all over you, and you put it in your backpack to take it home and it gets all in your bag and it just the glitter just follows you everywhere? Like That's what I was thinking of when I saw these. So I always liked the appearance of these, but I was a little weary about owning a pair because I don't want to leave little glitter trails all over my room and all over my clothes and stuff. However, I didn't have to worry about any of that because look. Nothing comes off. They do, however, come with this warning label that reads, Glitter material is being used for the upper of the shoes and could experience wear off after a period of time. It will not affect the performance of the product. Please be aware and purchase accordingly. I appreciate the warning, Jordan Brand, but I'm not personally alarmed. They're saying the glitter could wear off after a while, but it won't affect the performance of the shoe. The word performance leads me to think that they're referring to people playing basketball in these, because although a lot of us will wear these casually, these were designed to be played basketball in. So if you think about it that way, it makes sense. Based on this texture, I wouldn't expect the glitter to come off on its own, but if you're out there balling in these, they're going to get scuffed, scratched, creased, and I think that would lead to some of the glitter coming off. So that's probably why they put that. But being that I won't be playing ball in this pair, I'm not worried. But anyway, let's take a close look at the rest of the shoe. We have leather up here on the upper. And this is a women's shoe. And I'm not sure why, but I've noticed all women's high top 11s do have these thinner laces compared to the other men's 11s, like the Concords, Columbias, Cool Grays, Breads, and Space Jams, etc. They all have the thicker laces, and these are slightly thinner. Another thing we always see on women's high top 11s is this Stitch 23 on the back and this metal like Jumpman. The sole on these is nice and clear. I'm glad they didn't try to put the blue tint on these because. It just wouldn't have worked for these. They come in this white and silver Jordan box. I got a size 11 and a half women's, which is a size 10 in men's. Conceited told me these run small, so instead of going for my normal size 9 and a half, I went for a 10. And I'm glad I did because he was right. So yeah, if you plan on getting a pair for yourself, I would suggest getting a half size larger because these do run tight. But man, Jordan Brand really did their thing on these. These are beautiful. I have no complaints. I'm having trouble making resale predictions on these. 11s have been getting slept on in recent years, and a lot of people haven't been talking about these. But then again, these are fire and they're a women's release, where those bigger sizes are going to be limited. And people might try to sell those bigger sizes for a lot because they know a lot of guys like me are going to try to cop a pair to wear, despite them being a woman's sneak. But either way, regardless of what the resale value is, I will be keeping this pair for myself because I'm really feeling these, and this women's size 11 and a half fits me well for whatever reason. Alright, so I have a special guest who's going to help me assess these today. YouTube, this Hi. is Noah. Noah, say what's up to YouTube. What's up? <laughs> All right, so Noah, what's your opinion on these? How you? What, what, what do you think uh, about these? They're fired, and look, look what has on them basketballs. <laughs> that, that, that. What's your favorite part of the shoe? Um, the glitter. The glitter. Mm -hmm. That's cool. How do you feel about the clear sole? I know a lot of 11s been getting like the icy blue sole lately. What do you? How do you feel about Jordan Brand going back to the clear part? Because you, you this it? Batman is so bomb. It is right. Bomb. Yeah, so we we, I we like the bomb part. Like, we're rocking with like the clear soles. The blue tint is cool, but you know this is this is this is fire. Yeah, um, fire. How do you feel about the stitch twenty three on the back? I know a lot of the OG elevens they don't have the stitch twenty three, and for some reason every time we get a women's Jordan eleven they have the stitch twenty three on the back. How do you feel about that? Do you like the stitch twenty three? So bomb. It's so bomb. Yeah, I agree. So is this a must cop for you? Are you gonna have mommy buy these for you when uh, they come out on release date? Yeah, she better. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you like this video. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> that was a
a good one.